All right, so in the previous demo, you've seen how a VM can be provisioned using a vagrant file, which is read by a tool called as vagrant and then that is fed into VirtualBox to provision the VM just as you like it to be configured. Now that this has been configured with Docker and Docker Compose, I'm gonna show you how you could possibly use Docker Compose to create a bunch of containers or automatically provision the containers. So the VM is ready, I would log into that and the Docker has already been installed and I would use that Docker Compose as a tool to launch a bunch of VMs. So, or not VMs, but the containers. So I would be launching three containers and the entire Ansible setup that I want to use for the next demo would be launched with this. So there will be a con container which would be running as Ansible controller. So there will be Ansible controller by name C. So this would be the Ansible node. And uh, then I would create two nodes and I would later configure these with Ansible as application server. So this would be app one, this would be app two. And uh, for this particular demo, I would be using Docker Compose to read a spec file that is the infrastructure as a code file that we feed into it called a Docker Compose and launch these containers. So let's have a look at that. And we're back to the demo setup. Again, it's the same repository which also has the code for Docker Compose, which is quite simple. It's just one single file. Again, it's a YAML file, a declarative definition of what we want to create in the form of containers here. And as you see here, I have defined uh, three containers and this is one block for a container called as control. And just like Vagrant, this has the spec specification of what that container should be created with all the configurations and that's what you do with tools like vagrant and docker compose in fact docker compose is for containers what vagrant is for vms it's a automation uh, you know it's an automated provisioning tool for containers this time not the vms vagrant is for vms docker compose is for containers so I'm going to log in to the same VM that I created earlier. And this is all connected because I have provisioned the VM using Vagrant and have installed Docker and Compose on top of that. And that's the same Docker Compose setup I'm going to use to create the containers now. So I would clone the same repository which contains my demos go to the directory which has docker compose spec and from here i would just run just like vagrant up command that i used earlier i would use docker compose up command now and it's the same code with three services or three containers one for control node another for app one and app two so it's creating the ansible setup or ansible nodes right now one control nodes with two managed nodes in the form of containers and that setup is what we would use in the next demo so this is like an end-to-end -end demo of provisioning of virtual machines containers and then configuring those as well using a tool that is ansible which comes next so what what is happening right now is Docker Compose has read that Docker Compose file and has started creating the containers as per the specifications given in that file, that YAML file that is. And now it is downloading the images required for running those containers and it would start creating the containers once the images are being pulled. So this is similar to running multiple containers and creating those manually is just automating the process for us so and and then good thing about that is you do not need to remember any configurations here you don't have to do anything manually you don't have to write any documentation because this is a self documented code so when you start defining your infrastructure as a code you're also writing a document there right there because that serves as a self documented code as well and that's another advantage of infrastructure as a code utilities. And it has provisioned the containers now and I can verify that by running Docker Compose PS and I see three containers running exactly as per my specs. So I have I had defined some images 
with uh, one of that image also has a web utility so i would go and check whether it is running or not you know using the ip address of this vm and uh, i have done some port mapping now this port mapping is a concept in docker where you expose an application running inside a container on the host underlying host so this is the port it should be running at and i do see this application running here and this is created with docker compose i can verify that by actually bringing down that setup and when i do that this application should be gone so just like vagrant it's very easy to tear down that infrastructure so we are talking about a disposable you know setup or disposable environments which you can create quickly and you can also tear them down quickly and cleanly because since we are not installing anything on the systems you know there is nothing to remove or you know there is nothing to uninstall from the system itself everything has been cleaned up by docker compose now so docker compose is a provisioning and automation utility which allows you to write the container configuration as code and this was a quick demo of compose